going to show you how to remove a background from an image. And here I have the uh, this little moth bug guy, and I'm going to cut him out of the picture. Um, so the first thing I did was zoom in. So I use that zoom in tool. If you didn't see me grab that, um, I'm going to zoom in just till I have him basically kind of centered. And that's all I have there in that picture. Um, and then I'm going to use this lasso tool right here. And I'm going to speed up this part because it takes quite a bit of time. You'll notice how many times I'm clicking as I go through this. But you click on this lasso tool. I'm going to use the polygon option. Um, the lasso, um, the freehand might be a little easier. And if you're good at it, it actually might turn out better. However, um, based on, uh, it, it'll turn out better for me if I use the polygon on. And I'm going to fast forward this part because it will take a little bit of time. But just notice how many times I'm clicking. Okay, so okay, so now you can see that I have the whole uh, beast outlined there, and uh, it's not a perfect outline, but I think I did all right. Um, but from here, what you can do is you can use this selector tool, and you grab this and move it. Okay, so you can see I can move this whole selection out, so I can move this whole bug guy out. I'm actually just going to cut him by uh, hitting Control X. I'm going to cut him right out of this picture here. We'll zoom this out so you can kind of see I've got that bug cut out now. Now I'm going to hit new image. I'm going to do a transparent image. And then um, I'm going to just use my clipboard presets. Hit OK. And then I'm going to paste him here. So now I have my bug and I can put him in another picture. He, uh, I use transparency. If you don't know what that is, basically I have this uh, white and gray grid. We have a, another video that talks about that. But uh, now I can put them in whatever image that I want to, and uh, I'll be good to go. Now, keep in mind, you can if you spend more time and if you zoom in more, obviously you can get a much better uh, crop. So you're not, um, you're not, you don't have so many jagged edges. But uh, yeah, in a, in a quick hurry, this is how you remove part of a, or you basically remove the background from an image. Hi, thanks for watching another Web Tools video and supporting our channel. After the video, if you still have a question about something we talked about, be sure to leave a comment or hit us up on our channel. And of course, if you're interested in learning how you can use your browser to its full potential, don't forget to subscribe below.